Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. <laughs> everybody it's Alma it's gizzard time guys so I made some fried livers the other day and Hector said Alma what about gizzards and I thought what about gizzards Hector just kidding I love gizzards hey everybody it's Alma welcome to the kitchen we're about to cook what are we cooking guys we're cooking gizzards now let me tell you what you need to do first first you're gonna need to take your gizzards out you're gonna need to clean them all right Cleaning is very simple, guys. Just kind of put them in a big bowl, salt them, and let them soak for a bit. Work them through with your fingers like you're giving yourself a nice head massage. You're just basically getting rid of impurities. And let me tell you, when you're also cooking them, that gets rid of the impurities as well. So if you don't have time to do that, you can get away with it through the, air, through the pressure cooker. Just don't use the liquid afterwards, all right? So I've cleaned my gizzards. I put them inside of my Instant Pot for 18 minutes and they have been cooling off all on their own for the past 36 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and release the lever just in case there's more steam that needs to come out. Before we get started, important details. Today is, what is today? Today is Wednesday the 13th, it's 1155. I've got a 9,475 steps on top of six miles of bike riding. Woo, it was hot today. All right, so let me go ahead and tell you what we're doing. I have my lovely little blender here and I've added five eggs to it, five large eggs, all right? Hi, Daisy. She's over here, guys. She's my helper again. She's always my helper. Hi, Daisy. <laughs> what you doing, sunshine? What you doing? She thinks I'm gonna give her a treat. She sees something in my hand and she's ready. <laughs> she sees something in my hand and she's like, can I have it, Mom? No, Daisy, we're cooking, sweetheart. We're cooking, I can't touch you, we're cooking. Oh, so she jumps away. All right, so I'm taking my little measuring. This is about, I would say, a quarter cup maybe, maybe a third, I don't know. I, I wish you guys understood how much of a struggle it is to actually measure things, because I don't typically measure when I'm cooking. So I'm taking about a third cup of half and half, I'm sorry, of heavy whipping cream, putting it into my mixture, then I'm adding garlic. So look at this. One, two, three, four. I want this just completely infused with the flavor of garlic. And then guys, I am taking my Duke's mayonnaise. Oh, look at that. I just saw my fingernail. That's a pretty color, guys. Oh, the random works of a menopausal brain. So I'm gonna take one, two, three, and then four tablespoons of mayonnaise. So I've gotta ask you a question, speaking of mayonnaise. Back in the day, when you ate carbs, did you ever dip your french fries in mayonnaise? Mercy, mercy, that's some good eating. All right guys, so we have this wonderful mixture. I'm not gonna do any salt or pepper in here. Um, I really wanted to do the mayonnaise in here in hopes that maybe this batter will just really adhere to the gizzards because I'm not doing a deep frying. I'm using my air fryer. You could de absolutely uh, deep fry these guys. All right, we have everything in our blender. All right, guys, let's blend. <laughs> Alright guys, next step is we're going to drain our gizzards. Alright, so here we are. There is our lovely gizzards. We're going to go ahead and um, take a paper towel and let's dry these off as much as we can. Oh, that looks nice and creamy. If you could smell the garlic in this, holy guacamole. In go, in go our gizzards. I think this creates a really nice thick batter. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put this in the refrigerator 
Southern recipe, pork cracklins, dipper style. Yeah, since there's already salt in pork rinds, I'm not gonna add a lot of seasonings to this. I am going to go ahead and put in the whole bag. I bet I overfilled it, what do y'all think? All right, let's see what happens. Now seriously, how many of you guys are saying, holy guacamole, she didn't goof up? I am. All right, so now it's time to add in, gosh, it should be about a tablespoon, I think, of psyllium husk. Why am I adding it? I don't know, I just am. All right, so we have our psyllium husk. I am using the whole psyllium husk. I am throwing in some cayenne. If you don't like it really hot, throw in paprika, guys, and then cumin. And the last thing, guys, is about a tablespoon. And by a tablespoon, I mean this much. To two tablespoons of almond flour. And then we'll blend it up again. And then we'll put our crumbs breading mixture into a lovely bowl. Check it out guys. That made it such a nice little frothy yummy. Woo, okay. So I'm doing this willy-nilly guys. You know me. I was gonna put it on the pan and then in the air fryer, but I think I'm just gonna just go straight to the air fryer guys. I'm gonna do about three of these and see what we've got. Do about three of these, see what happens. There we go, layer it in. All right, guys. And gosh, guys, look at this. Can I just tell you how good that is? Can you see how good that is now i'll take a bite of it for you hold on look at that mm. that's good eating all right i hope you enjoy gizzards let me know if you do and hector challenge accepted challenge done challenge a success all right guys have a blessed day we'll see you soon bye-bye thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you if you haven't already done so please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time i post a new video all right guys have a great day bye-bye choice wednesday it's onito now here's my wife to teach us keto pork rinds pork rinds rah 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 Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah.